Hello, intrepid dreamers. So this is your new moon update by Claire the Oily Witch. I want to talk to you about the new moon that is coming this Friday, Friday the 9th of February 2024. This is the Rowan moon for people following the native British kind of pagan practices, druids, etc. So Rowan is all about, it's Bridget's tree, it's a fire tree, it's the first tree generally to have leaves to signify the arrival of spring. It's new beginnings. In Scotland, it's known as mountain ash and it's a very sacred tree and they don't like chopping it down up there, which is good. All trees should be gaining much better respect than they actually have in our culture that needs to be returned. I'm just grabbing my new moon moonstone, black moonstone, which is quite rare. And um, so we can kind of look towards this moon for kind of bright new beginnings. So we had this birch moon that really kind of felt like it went on and it in kind of compassed in bulk, which was really interesting because for some people, the clearing was continuing and that's still happening because some people are still questioning what on earth just happened, you know, because there's been so much turmoil and upset and things happening and the ancestral clearing is still going on for a lot of people and revelations around family systems and family patterns and family secrets and abuse, neglect, etc. And, you know, these patterns are why we're always meant to happen and why we're in this kind of, you know, lifetime, a lot of us to clear them. That's our kind of role and responsibility. And that means that we can do it, even though at times it may feel really, really rough. So kind of, you know, Pluto is in Aquarius, which is kind of giving this kind of like Mercury is also there as well. And there's a conjunction between them, which is kind of subtle not particularly forceful, but it kind of means that words that are said carry great depth and meaning and last for a long time. Um, but it is kind of, you know, Venus is in Capricorn, squaring Chiron in Aries. So you kind of, the Venus in Capricorn energy is one of kind of careful cautiousness in love. And then Chiron and Aries is like the wound of self-identity. So it's like the people protecting themselves at the moment. Um, Self-protection is coming first where people are thinking, you know, especially if people have hurt you, it's like, you know, what can I do to make sure I care for myself well? And a good friend of mine told me a useful thing or shared a useful video with me. And it was this gentleman saying that what you can do with things when people have hurt you is put your hand on your heart. Generally, well, I keep putting my right hand on, which is kind of the male aspect, um, sun sign. It's just saying, you know, I release all the pain that um, so-and-so has given me in the past. I release it with love. I release it with gratitude. I release it fully. I release it with kind of, you know, comprehensively, I release it all grateful to the karmic lesson. And just repeating this kind of tiny little mantra, which you can make your own two or three times a day, is really powerful. And when you're doing it, it's just envisaging that, just leaving your auric field with love. And just even if to begin with, it's difficult to say because the words get stuck in your throat because you think, you know, this person really did me wrong, it does begin to flow. Because ultimately, everything that happens to us is for our greatest good, even the things that hurt. It's like, right, what is the wisdom in that? But there is a kind of, you know, a kind of energy in the air at the moment, which is kind of like exciting politically and socially. It's a bit explosive. It's a bit nervous. It's like, what's going to happen? And I think that just comes with new beginnings and change, doesn't it? Because it's the fear of the unknown, which is a very human trait. It's change. Nobody likes that. Um, the sun and moon are also in Uranus and Taurus. So that means mistakes are being made with material things. Um, and behaviours possibly slightly erratic or eccentric with certain people's minds becoming lightning quick. 
Um, some people are able to plan their new futures with ease at the moment, as I said before, but other people are still like caught in that, what the hell just happened? So kind of then we've got with this new moon, which for some cultures is why it's the second moon since winter solstice is the new year for some cultures like the Chinese. So we have the um, Chinese wood dragon coming in on the 10th of February. Now, wood dragon is, you know, the element of wood is very kind of earthed, grounded, kind of, you know, you think of a tree, it's there, it's observing, it's holding, it's holding life, it's a gateway to um, other worlds, it is kind of at peace, you know, and it spreads its canopy and it's completely balanced, its root system balances its branches. So you've got that kind of, and then dragons are kind of representative of kind of love and fire and all this kind of stuff. So you've kind of got this love and this courage coming in to perhaps stand your ground this year, stand in your power, perhaps, to be grounded in your own power. And this Rowan moon is lighting the way for us to go through or providing ceremonial fire energy to clear those relationships which do not serve us because there is certainly a lot of that fresh start new beginning energy around with this Pluto in Aquarius and the new beginnings are permanent so there's no going back and I guess the question is how deep am I prepared to go with this now if you want to know what this all means to you Go and look at where Aquarius is in your chart and that will give you an idea of where that new beginning is happening. Which part depends on which house. And if you haven't had your chart read and you'd like to have your chart read, get in touch with me, Claire the Oily Witch, www.theoilywitch.co.uk and I will happily read your chart. Blessings, new moon blessings. Make sure you try and do some ceremony, at least acknowledge it. Think about what I've said get a ritual together. And again, if you're interested in rituals or astrology, I run courses and those things. So get in touch or spiritual counseling if you're having struggling, letting go and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I think I've said enough. Take care.